This is a very typical training system in the valley. This is what we call bilateral cordon. So when we grow these grapevines up and they're young, we lay a cane down this way and this way. We form what we call the cordon. So we've got a cordon here and a cordon here. As the years go on, we form what we call spur positions. Each cordon has six or eight spur positions. So this one here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When we prune these vines, we come back and we cut these vines off to a two-bud spur. Now, the pruning of the grape vines is very critical. What we're looking to achieve here when we're growing Pinot Noir is what we call crop balance. So the idea is to prune the vine and hang as much crop as the, as the vine will support. So consequently, if you have a very uh, big vine with a little bit of fruit, you're going to impart vegetative flavors in the fruit. And if you have a very small vine with a lot of fruit, you're never going to ripen the fruit. We have these movable wires here. So as the canes grow, we bring them, we hook them up like this, hook them up like this. So in essence, what that does, it allows the canes to grow straight up in the air, and it makes a big wall of leaf area. So you get as much leaf area exposed to the sunlight as you can. And then the fruit hangs down here, what we call the fruiting zone. And you get sunlight on the fruit to ripen the fruit, and you get air circulation around the vines to prevent any diseases. So when you prune the grapevines, it's critical. You got to get it right because the whole growing season depends on how well of a job you do in the pruning season.